family-friendly venue, unlike any around, has just opened its doors. As Julie Chen tells us in this morning's The Rebound Green Country, it's a magical second act for a longtime Tulsa retailer whose business went dark during the pandemic. We want people to have fun. For 45 years, Spotlights provided Tulsa with a magic touch. Spotlight has um, costumes for rental and for purchase, and we also have magic. But even this store, mastering in the art of the quick change, couldn't anticipate the quick changes the pandemic would bring. We were prepared to have a big year. We had a great January, a great February, and then March happened, and everything kind of shut down. Like so many local retailers, this past year put Spotlight in a pinch. With no one gathering, no one was coming into this event-driven business. We do a lot of things for schools, um, for plays, you know, schools was, were canceled, um, parties, you know, were canceled. So we just didn't get to do a whole lot of that. It became clear to stay in business, Spotlight needed to work some new magic. It made us more aware of having other avenues of income. So we decided to try and do something different and we took some of our rentals and put them out for purchase and we made a big space. And there, in the heart of this 6,000 square foot store, the Magic Attic was born. The Magic Attic is um, just a great venue. It's first class sound, first class lighting, the stage is great. It is a cabaret style magic theater with seating for 50. I believe we're really the only live venue like this. Construction took about six weeks, a labor of love for Sasheen and her husband Mike, who's also a magician. He built secrets into the stage, but he won't tell you where. You can catch Mike and other magicians in the store's weekly magic shows. They're family friendly and run about an hour. This enchanting space also open for parties and other performances. Just talk to me, you got it. Tulsa needs more entertainment and I think that's what we're trying to do. Spotlight, a local business transforming tough times into magical moments. They need to feel better right now. You know, there's just so much going on and to have an hour of entertainment and laughter. It's just one of a kind. And Spotlight has plans to spread even more magic into Tulsa. They plan to hold classes here and even camps soon. They even taught me a trick. I'll turn this one ball into four. Abra Kadabra. Ta-da! I'll be here all day. In Tulsa, Julie Chin, 2 News.